Hey you guys, what is up? Welcome back to the channel. If you are new and this is the first time that you are seeing this face, my name is Kayla Jukic and if you're not, well welcome back. As you guys can see, I am not at home. I am currently on a 12 day cruise sitting on the Norwegian sun. Saturday, December 23rd, 2023, and I got on the ship two days ago. We embarked on the Norwegian Sun from Baltimore, so we took a little road trip from Toronto. We drove, which was about seven hours and 15 minutes without stopping. Our check-in wasn't until, I think it was 1.30, but it honestly, it took about an hour's worth of parking. The line was super long. We had to pay for the parking, which if you are curious, it was $180 for the full 12 days. I don't know if you guys can see, I am rocking a bit. So we're on technically our second C day. Yesterday, I did not vlog anything. This is literally the first time I'm picking up my camera because I was so seasick, which is so weird because I'm a cruiser. I go on cruises very often. This is my third this year alone. So I don't know what it was. We are just going pretty fast. The waves are like five feet high and our room, which I will show you guys in a second. We have an interior room and we are right at the front of the boat. We are right dead center, the front of the boat so we feel absolutely everything in our room i ended up getting some dramamine and i've been feeling good since then so i'm gonna pick up the camera today it is the second sea day like i said it is noon right now so i'm gonna take you through a vlog of this cruise first though i want to show you my room so like i said we have an interior room so this is what it looks like when you first walk in here you have the little slot to put your key and you have a little light switch to the right when you first walk in i'll sh open it and show you in a second but this is the closet so we're gonna go in this is the bathroom and then we have our bed we also have this table here so in this little cupboard we have a miniature fridge so it just looks like that it comes with these three waters so we have the flow we have I don't know this natural spring water and then we have San Pellegrino This is actually pretty cold and it's been good because we've been keeping our own water bottles in here here We have three drawers. I've just filled with our stuff So some bags and then some like sunscreen that kind of stuff the table itself is pretty big So you can fit a lot of stuff. My husband has his hats there We brought our steamer some bags it does have a telephone There is some ports to plug stuff in and then there's some light switches. There is a nice big mirror we have have this TV that kind of flips out if you want so you can have it like this or you can kind of like swing it out so if you're in bed watching TV you can do so there is also a garbage bin and this little stool you can pull out if you're like getting ready in front of the mirror you can like pull that out to sit on in this cupboard there's some more shelves to put storage and then there is a safe I'll come back this way to show you guys the closet there is a lot of space so this is all of my husband's stuff right here and then my dresses at the bottom I put all of our shoes there is a big mirror right here so you can see yourself there is a switch for the light so you can have the light off or on of course and then it has all of these shelves that you can use which is super convenient there's also storage at the top and then on the right side is the life jackets hopefully we don't have to use that like I said this is the bathroom we'll get there in a second keep moving in Honestly, I'm not gonna lie, this space bothers me. I really feel like the TV should have gone here instead of here. Um, and this couch is honestly useless. Like, we have all of our stuff on it, but I would have just preferred a table like right here last year when we were on the Norwegian Prima that's literally how the layout was the TV was here and then there was a table I just feel like this couch of course we're still using it and it's space but it's just it, I would just prefer a table that was like horizontal we have a king size bed so what I love about the beds is our suitcases are actually tucked underneath so it saves space we have a night table on one side a night table on the other side there's some artwork on the wall again another big mirror and then there is some lights with some usbs that you can plug in so if you want to charge anything which is nice so if i want to charge my phone in the middle of the night just plug in the usb and then i can leave my phone on the night table and then these are the light switches quickly show you the bathroom it is definitely very small so i'm making use of everything so i have my toiletry bag hanging on here so first things first there is the toilet 
Honestly, I'm not even sure what this is. I think this is supposed to be some sort of blow dryer. If anyone knows, please let me know. This is the shower. It is like circular shaped. It is so tiny and small. There is a bunch of towel racks and then you have your garbage. I love these little shelves for storage. So I have my makeup up there, my skincare, my hair stuff there. I'm literally standing in the shower right now. It is so tiny. It just has this like little curtain. So small, but we got a big mirror and then again, Again, more shelving and then the sink so definitely of course compared to like the Prima this is really small the ship overall is very small but that is what the room looks like I'm gonna head out on the deck it is so stinking windy and we're like kind of beside Florida right now so it is decently warm I think this temperature is 23 but it's super cloudy my husband was even just texting me saying it started raining a little bit so there's not like tanning going on today I'm gonna have to clean this mirror because it's so dirty but this is my outfit it's from Amazon and then I just have like my book and I'm gonna put my camera and stuff in here so let's head out this is what we've been working with all day this is the bow cam it has been so wavy as you can see and it's been raining all day so quite frankly we have not done much i went to the observation lounge and i read a little bit and then we slept for like three hours we were still trying to catch up on sleep but now i just got dressed we're gonna go to the sports bar because the boys want to watch i think it's the Bengals game i haven't dressed super cute yet just because i've been so tired and like just nonchalant so just put this zebra dress on it's from shein it's a long maxi dress and then i put this like white little shrug from amazon on just to keep me warm and i also curled my hair a bit but it's kind of greasy i'm gonna have to wash it tomorrow Good morning guys, today is day four technically and we're gonna be in San Juan, Puerto Rico but not until this evening. Right now it's about 10 a.m. and we're actually gonna be in Puerto Rico this evening so we're gonna go out and tan on the deck the first day that we can actually do so because the weather is nice. I'm just wearing this cover over from Muscle Nation, these denim shorts from Zara and then I have this beautiful purple butterfly bikini from Night Swim. This morning we slept in and we've just been watching Meg two which is a really good movie my mother-in-law is already outside on the Lido deck she got some chairs for us so we're gonna meet her there put our stuff down and then we're gonna get some breakfast just got off the boat it is 6 p.m and we are finally in our first port stop which is san juan puerto rico so this is actually my husband and i's third or fourth time coming to this port stop together and we absolutely love it however there wasn't much to do this night because it was christmas eve we were here on december 24th 2023 so all of the restaurants all of the stores that you see here on this local street were all closed once we walked farther down there was like a little like restaurant market area that had like people selling stuff um, under tents and there was some food trucks going on. But otherwise, other than that, there was not much else to do other than this like little light show. So you could walk through it. It was probably about a kilometer long. You could walk all the way to the end and there was just so many lights. It was so beautiful to see and we had so much fun. We were only here from 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. and then we had to get back on the boat to leave. Hello you guys, welcome to day five on the cruise and right now we are in our second port stop which is St. Martin. We are just in the cruise port and I believe we're going to be going to Maho Beach which is the beach that planes fly over. We've actually been here before and it is insane and I'm going to take you guys along with me.
bit of a rush, but this is tonight's outfit. So I did a blowout for my hair. I put some makeup on. This dress is from Baltic Born. Let's go have some Christmas dinner. It is midnight. My husband is so friggin' red. He's a tomato. We got some food from the sports bar, a Reuben sandwich, and some tortilla chips. He also had french fries. Did you eat them? I guess you did. And we're currently now just in bed. I just did my skincare routine and we are watching football. So it's Ravens versus 49ers. And since we left from Baltimore, there's so many Baltimore fans on the ship. And we went to the sports bar and it was packed like you literally could not order food you could not move you could not sit and everybody was screaming and cheering because they're winning right now so we were like yeah we're just gonna take our food which took 30 minutes because there were so many people and we brought it to bed i'm literally still in the christmas spirit wearing my christmas pajamas we went and watched a magic show paige thompson i think her name was and that was pretty good other than the christmas show yesterday that was probably the best entertainment we've seen thus far this week but honestly i'm exhausted I got some color today. I have a headache because I'm definitely dehydrated. I did not drink as much water today as I should have. Dinner was really good. They had a special menu, obviously, because it's Christmas. I had roasted turkey. They had beef wellington. There were so many nice desserts. That was really good. Took some family photos and Christmas photos and couple photos and that kind of stuff. Then we went to the show. And then we kind of just walked around and that's about it. So we are hitting the hay because... We're gonna be at our next port stop tomorrow, so I will catch you guys then. holidays so there is a crap ton of music going on there's people dancing and there's a lot going on it's a lot of fun we're actually gonna be doing a two-hour tour we're taking like an air bus around for two hours and it's gonna show us a bunch of historic places one of them being Timothy Hill which is where you can see the Atlantic Ocean and the Caribbean Ocean it is the only place in the West Indies that you can see both oceans at the same time so it's a very exciting and like I said I'm gonna take you guys along We made pit stops on the way and he would get out and explain things, but oh the lighting's better now But now we're at like an old sugar factory and it's the end of the rainforest And it's pretty much where the island gets their main water is what he said. So that is pretty cool They also have this little restaurant right here. It says natural smoothies. So if you want to get a drink you can this is literally so peaceful 
And if you guys know and follow me, we have been seeing so many butterflies, so that means my mom is following us. God, what a freaking exhausting day we just got back to the room my husband is taking a quick shower I just took all of my makeup off and I got in my pajamas so a little recap on the day we were in st. Kitts which is a very beautiful island my husband and I have been here before I can't remember if I said that already or not sorry if I did so as you saw we basically just walked around the little market they had a little carnival going on parade type of thing and then we took that excursion it was supposed to be two hours and it was supposed to end by going to a beach but I think the excursion was like itself was like two and a half hours and by the end of it the guy was like you guys still want to go to the beach and everyone was like no we just want to go back to the ship we were all tired and hungry it was literally so hot that was the hottest day we have had thus far there was pretty much no wind and it was so humid it probably felt like I would say at least like 45 degrees I'm not sure how much that is in Fahrenheit because I'm not American I'm Canadian and I go by degrees Celsius but it was freaking hot then we went to Cagney Steakhouse as you guys saw and that was so stinking good if you have the opportunity to go there go you get so so much food so we were allowed to choose one starter one super salad one entree and then two sides and then a dessert so it was a crap ton of food you also get bread at the beginning so it is a lot and the food is really good I had the petite filet mignon which was five ounces and honestly everybody was making fun of me they were like that's gonna be so small and I ended up being the only one that finished it because it was just it was so much food and then we ended up going to a show we saw Harry O he's like an Irish man and he sings he's a comedian he plays the drum he plays the guitar he's just so multiverse it was literally such an amazing show the show was a bit early today it was at 9 p.m. so it's like 10 15 right now and we are honestly just gonna go to bed because tomorrow we are gonna be in where are we gonna be? Honestly, we're going to so many places, it's so easy to forget. But tomorrow, we're gonna be in St. John's Antigua, and we're gonna be there from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. So it's gonna be a really long day, so I will catch you guys then.